Hey, good morning, Impact, and thank you guys so much for joining us for our online devotional here on Sunday morning. Uh, two super quick things for you guys who are watching right now. Uh, we currently have two awesome times that, in which we get together for in-person impact that I wanted to make you aware about. Number one is every Sunday morning at 10 a.m., we meet on the second floor balcony for worship. And then right after worship and all that happens, we go up and we go to the third floor into the Vista Suite for our, our very own Impact Youth Service. I would absolutely love it if you would join us every Sunday morning, 10 a.m., again, on the second floor balcony for worship before we go up for our Impact Service. The second opportunity for Impact is Every Wednesday night, we have been meeting at my house for Impact. Uh, it, it has been a, a blast getting together with people uh, your age. Sometimes even there can be people from your school and uh, really just having fun, eating some food, some snacks, and most importantly, learning through God's Word together. Uh, if you guys want the address you want to join us for Impact on Wednesday night, you can go ahead and you can call the church, ask them, say, hey, I want to go to Impact, or you can send an email to hilltopmat at comcast.net, and it will get you the address so you can join us every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. I would love to see you guys there. All right, let's move into this morning's devotional. Today, we're going to be looking at Proverbs chapter 23, verse 17, and it says this. It says, do not let your heart envy sinners but always be zealous for the fear of the Lord. Now, we know that through God's word, our purpose is, is to passionately pursue things that please God. That's our purpose. You see in this verse, you see that in this verse, but also all over the Bible. Why do you see it here and elsewhere in God's word? Well, it's because it's important. It's so important that we learn how to passionately pursue the things that honor and, and, and bring glory to God. The truth is, some sin looks pretty cool and fun on the outside, though. It's easy to scroll through Instagram and think maybe you'd be happier or you might even have more friends or followers if you just went to that party, if you just drank like those guys do, or if you maybe dated someone like him or like her. Maybe even if you chose to make other life decisions like they made, you might be happier. But this wise warning from the book of Proverbs tells us that your heart is in jeopardy when you try to follow the follow in the path of sin. That's what it says. What seems like a little lie, a small compromise, trying it just once or doing it because everyone else is, it really changes your heart. What seems like a small decision can actually make a large impact on your life and your faith. When you do something that you know is wrong, it gets easier and easier to compromise your morals and who God's created you to be. Eventually, you begin to push your conscience and God's guiding spirit away. It becomes easier to do wrong the more you do it. Instead, like our passage of scripture says, be devoted to doing what is right in God's eyes. Pursue those things with all of your heart. It's there that you're going to find peace and purpose for your life. A question to consider as we close our devotional this morning for you, Impact. The question is this. Have you been passionately pursuing what is right in God's eyes? I want to encourage you with that today. I hope you guys pursue what is right in God's eyes. I hope you don't fall into the trap of maybe I could do this, maybe I can do that. Everyone else is doing it. It's a lie from the devil, and I hope you guys choose to pursue what's right in God's eyes always. I love you, Impact. Let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for our students, for our leaders, for those who are watching this video. And I ask, Lord, that this would be used to encourage and maybe even to challenge some of us today. Father, I ask that if we've fallen into maybe trying to fit in or, or to, to be like somebody or to do things like others, God, that you would just allow this time right now that your Holy Spirit would convict us. And Lord, that we would be able to, to simply stop and, and reflect and really just decide on whether or not we're going to follow you with all of our heart or not. God, I ask that you would help us to learn how to pursue what is righteous, what is holy, and ultimately what you want. Because, God, we know that's the plan and the purpose for our life. And through that, God, we find peace and we find purpose. I thank you, Lord, for this time that we got to spend together. I ask that you would bless the rest of the day, this Sunday, as well as bless us when we get together on Wednesday. Lord, I thank you so much that, that you've given us the opportunity to continue to be online, but also to be in person. I thank you for our students, our leaders, those watching this video. It's in Jesus' name. If you guys agree with me, would you say amen? Amen. I love you, Impact.